What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Blue, and this is The Real on Real Tip, where I break down plots and major characters in my favorite movie and TV shows. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit the like button, click the bell, and make sure you subscribe. And, you know, here we go. Singing is that Porter Rock record, nigga. Fuck my bitch. <laughs> What's an organization without the muscle? What's an organization without the person that's willing to go out there and put their life on the line for what they're believing? Usually that belief coincides with, I guess, the person that's also putting their life on the line with you. But in this case, we're talking about none other than Marvin. Yes, that's right. We're talking about Raising Canaan, Power Book 3. Um, Rock's older brother is her main enforcer on the streets tied to some unknown facts from his past you know it's kind of shaky on how we can really break down marvin but what we do know is that he went away for a while whenever Kanan and jukebox were just kids leaving rock to take over the family's business now what was marvin doing at the time later we come to find out that obviously it was related to drugs but i still think in Marvin's defense, he did say he was set up. I was set up. So, you know, it's still kind of shaky. We don't really know. But um, like I was saying, his little sister Rock is in power now. But what's, what respect do they have for Marvin? It seems like he's fumbling the ball every chance, every step of the way. Um, he's not really getting the respect he deserves on the streets. He feels like he's falling second fiddle to his younger brother and his younger sister. So it's just a conflicted energy with Marvin. But what we do see is a person that's very kind hearted. We see somebody who has a lot of love for, you know, his family. And that's what he dies on. That's the hill that he goes out on. He says it there. And in one of the episodes, he sits down with Rock and he tells her, nobody is going to tell me how to defend my family. And we see that, you know, obviously that's the biggest hold that Marvin has. Now, we do know that um, Marvin is a single father trying to raise Jukebox. He isn't doing the best job, and he have a shaky relationship between the two. Him and his daughter is very unexplainable, but, you know, they have a lot of hate. I don't know where the disdain come from. Obviously, in season two, we're going to find out more. Um, we realize that uh, one of the Destiny Child's um, members are playing her mom. You know, she's very heavy in the church is what we getting from um, her bio and everything. But we're going to stay talking about Marvin. Uh, and lastly, before we get out of here, I just wanted to say, what are y'all predictions for Marvin? My hot take is that it's going to be Jukebox who maybe have to take out her dad. I was leaning more towards giving him life in prison as she became an officer. But I think that's that's way down the line in her life. When obviously when her and Kanan is in, you know, um, their adult years. But y'all let me know below. How do y'all think things are going to end for Marvin? Is it going to be a family slaying? Or will Marvin fall to the hands of an enemy of the family? Y'all get down in the comment box below. Tell me y'all best moments for Marvin. What y'all like about him. And anything I may have missed, I'm out.